So it's been a pretty pretty nice day today. Got a little bit warm. I think it got up into the low 80s. Yeah, warm, right? Uh, but I had to work inside pretty much all day. I got outside with the dogs a little bit. We spent a little extra time because people were out, you know, the family was out doing stuff. So the dogs wanted to play in the water and some other things. And then I just had them out now and they went over to the neighbors to say hi to Fritz the Corgi who happened to be out. So uh, I had to pry them away from Fritzy. And I am in the process now of getting the welder ready. I was planning on doing some welding tomorrow and I was gonna set this up, but it turns out that past me, I already got it set. So it's, uh, you know, we're doing flux core because I don't have the MIG set up yet. Um, and flux core is fine. It's just really, really messy and spattery. And then I've got the um, generator. So I am going to try and fire this up and make sure that it runs so that there aren't any surprises tomorrow. So let's see. So I just put a little bit of gas in. I'm gonna to need to get more tomorrow because uh, we've gone through a lot of gas with the pressure washing and the cleaning and all that other stuff. So I've got the choke on, I believe it's on. And hopefully the battery is charged up. So let's see. That sounds like a no. All right, let's see what it looks like. Well, it's sitting at 11 volts, so that's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna pop it up here. Where do we go? So we got it there. Let's try here again. So that's a good indication that it is running. Uh, it did crank up. It needed a little bit more juice than that battery was giving it, but uh, for having sat for that long, that's a pretty doggone nice, uh, nice thing to come home to. Oh hey, it's Rob, and I'm outside because I'm gonna try and weld. I am not a good welder. I've only welded a couple times before, and this is a new welder. Uh, so I'm gonna try it. It's just um, wire welding, you know, flux core. So I don't have the MIG attachment or anything like that. So it's gonna be messy and all that other crap, but I'm trying to do something functional. I'm trying to create a drag rake for the weeds down at the lake. And what I've come up with is this jig which holds those, these are, you know, some pretty big spikes. I think they're 10 inch spikes, nine inch spikes. Uh, is going to hold them in place and keep them rather spaced apart so that I can tack weld these. And then I can pull them out and hopefully weld them the rest of the way and then do the other side. So let's see how this works. And because I'm using the generator, uh, it's gonna be loud. So I don't think there's going to be any audio during the, uh, during the welding process. So we'll figure something out.
So this is as much as I'm going to try and do tonight, but the basic form is in. Um, it's a drag rake, and it's intended to be dragged like that to get underneath the cattail roots so that we can pull out some cattails uh, a little bit more efficiently than trying to do it by hand because uh, they are really rough to try and get out. Uh, some things I have to do yet, I need to put a sort of a hitch in here and you know straighten it out a little bit. I also want to put a loop in back so that we can tie a rope with a float to it so that if it does get stuck we can actually go in and pull it out. And there's been a little bit of a learning curve with the welder. Uh, biggest one is this little wing nut right there. Uh, that locks down the uh, um, the welder hose thingy and if you don't tighten that uh, the wire will get all bunched up in here and push this out and then you have to replace the entire length of wire uh, and it's a real pain in the butt. Ask me how I know and yes these welds are crap. I know it and you know it but I think this might be my second time welding uh, and this is my first time with this particular welder, so, eh, I mean, I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to uh, work. It's a proof of concept prototype. If this works, then maybe we can go to, or, you know, build a real one that's a little more durable and, you know, actually welded correctly, because that'd be cool. Also, I managed to screw it up. I put on these spikes the wrong way. They were supposed to go this way and uh, they didn't. Or no, I put these on the wrong way. They were supposed to go that way. But yeah. Anyway, uh, my fault. I screwed up. I screw up sometimes. Well, my fabric blend skills are not exactly top-notch, but I think I finally rigged this up in a way that I can have that tow hook on there. So I've got it mounted this way. And I'm just going to weld it on here. And I don't particularly care that this is not straight. I don't have fabrication tools here to do this kind of thing. So I'm just winging it as I go. But hopefully we will get this thing operational in short order. So I think I nailed it. Kind of. Well, you know, apart from my crappy booger welds. But I was able to... Uh, there we go. Fix these up because I wasn't really happy with the way that they were on there. So those are ready to go. And I do believe that that is ready. Okay, we're doing the dry test. Go ahead and give her. Watch the, the winch is going to come off. It's pulling. That thing's pulling. But now it's all yeah, we gotta we gotta lock that winch to something. Yeah, we need it mounted. Oh, it's definitely pulling. Oh yeah, that's definitely pulling. Oh, that's pulling, definitely. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Cause it's digging in. That's exactly what I want it to do. Cuckoo. All right, you want to loosen it up and we'll uh, we'll wrap up.